But to start off, you want to install this application. And this is what it looks like. It's WhatsApp Messenger. I'm sure you already probably have it installed. Now, once you actually go ahead and boot it up for the very first time, it's going to ask you to go ahead and actually put in your phone number and go through the initial setup. I'm assuming you already went through that. It's very, very basic. You just have to type in your phone number. It'll go ahead and send you a text. You type in that text message, that code they basically sent you. And from there, you'll basically come into a page that looks similar to this. Now, there's a few things you can do here. So in this example, this is what it looks like as soon as you boot up the application for the very first time. Now, I haven't really set anything up here, so we'll be going through this together. So if you haven't allowed anything, then you'll be okay. Under statuses, there's not really anything super crazy. The bottom portion, though, is how we maneuver through this whole entire application. So we have status, calls, conversations, chats, and then settings. So under status, I don't really spend too much time here. Under calls, this is where you can actually make calls and phone call people within WhatsApp. We'll do this, we'll go through this in a second. Under communities, this is going to be different communities. It's a newer feature where you can go ahead and basically set up different areas within a community where you can go ahead and basically it allows you to easily organize related groups and you can send announcements and different things like that. You can, most people probably won't even, you know, be messing with this. Under chats, this is basically where you're going to be chatting with people. We'll show this in a second. And at the very end, you have settings. Now under settings, let's just kind of go through a few things here. You'll have a search button up here. So if you ever want to search for a setting or if you want to search for anything in particular, you can always search for it right here. And you'll be able to go through and find different settings and modules that you can go and kind of, med you know, kind of edit. Under simp or under your name, you'll basically see your name right here. You'll see your name here as well as a little breakdown of what your account is. Now you can also click on this little button here under your name and you'll actually be able to go ahead and edit your name as well as see some personal information. For this video, I'm not really gonna show you, but you'll basically be able to see it here, which is really cool. Under avatar, you can go ahead and create your own avatar, which is really cool. And it'll be following you basically throughout, you know, WhatsApp. Starred messages, any messages that you've started, we'll see right here. Link devices. So if you have any other device, including an iPad or anything like that, you'll basically see that within, it'll be linked with a specific device too. So you can kind of use WhatsApp in more than one device. Under account, this is where you can go ahead and set up a few more different, you know, areas of your account. You can also request any account information as well as delete your WhatsApp account if you really want to. You'll basically be able to do everything here as well as changing your phone number here. But if you just set it up, you won't have to do it. Privacy, this is going to be any contacts, any people you've blocked, seeing your location and different things like that. You'll be able to edit that here, which is another cool little thing. Under chats, again, this is going to be some you know, ch in chat features where you can kind of, you know, maneuver. So under chat wallpaper, if you want to create a, you know, s distinct chat wallpaper, you can go and edit that here. If you want to save photos or save photos and videos automatically to your camera roll, you can enable this or disable this. Under chat backup, I would probably recommend, you know, backing up your chats maybe every month or two. You can also create an auto backup right here, which I would probably recommend doing and just back it up every month or two and you can do it monthly. That way, if you ever lose your device or anything, you'll still at least have an automatic backup that you can actually have within your device. You can also export your chats manually if you want to. Under Keep Chats Archived, you can keep it on. And once you start creating different chats, you can go and delete them within this specific panel here, which is pretty cool. Now under Notifications, you really won't have to mess with this at all. But if you ever want to, I guess, reset your notification settings, you can do it here. You can go ahead and kind of edit out whichever notifications you no longer kind of want to mess with. And then under Help, if you ever need help within WhatsApp, you can always contact them right here, which is pretty cool. That kind of covers it up on this panel. Believe it or not, you're pretty much almost done. Under chats, what you can do here is you can go and start chatting with people. Sometimes if you want to just, you know, straight up just text somebody, you can go ahead and just click on start messaging and you can go ahead and start chatting with somebody right here. You can also click on the little tab bar up here and you can just start chatting with somebody. So if I go and just type in some numbers, let's see if I'm able to create a chat. So in this case, I just went ahead and basically added myself via a WhatsApp message. So what you can do here, at the very top, you'll basically just see the information of the person that you're texting. So in this case, I'm not really going to show you that. But at the bottom, this is basically what it will look like. So if you ever wanted to go ahead and message somebody, you can always just start off by messaging somebody like this and then typing in something like hi or hey. So you'll basically be able to you know, basically send somebody a message just by you know, clicking here and clicking hi or hey from here. You'll also be able to go ahead and send them photos if you want to by going through and clicking on this little camera icon. And you can go ahead and give access to your camera. So you can go and click OK. And you might as well give access to all photos. 
and you'll basically be able to send a photo in add a caption via that method too. You can also go ahead and hold down this specific voice little icon here if you want to go ahead and send, send somebody a voice message. So by holding down this little icon right here, you can go ahead and start sending somebody a voice message, which is pretty cool. And if you let go, you can go ahead and basically send it if you want. So that's an option that you have there too, which is honestly really awesome. And like I said, you can message hi or hey or something. Now you might be able to also, you know, highlight messages too. So just like iMessage, if you want to go ahead and basically react to a message, you can hold down on the message just like this. You can star that message, which you can see it under your WhatsApp settings that I showed earlier. You can go ahead and reply directly to a message. You can forward a message, copy a message, see the info of that message, as well as delete the message from here, and it should delete on both sides. But up here, you can also react to a message as well. So if you want to do directly just, you know, react to a message, you can thumbs up a message just like so. You can honestly do a lot of things right within this panel, which is pretty awesome. Now, another thing is, is with this plus button. So if you click on the plus button, you can also attach a few different documents. So if you wanted to attach, you know, like I showed you earlier, the camera, you can also attach a photo and video. So if you want to just send somebody photos and videos, you can do that here. If you want some, if you want to send somebody a document, you can also do that here by clicking on documents and you should allow access to your files, but you can go and send somebody a specific icon or whatever you want to, any specific thing you want to send, you can do it here. Going back and clicking plus, you can send somebody a contact and you can even send somebody a poll. So if you really wanted to, you can go and send somebody a poll just like this. And that's another option that you have here as well. So once hopping back out, now once you go and hop back out, you'll come back into your main panel since then I've already deleted the message. And you can delete the messages by basically swiping to the side, clicking on more, and then deleting the message just like that. Now under calls, if you wanted to go ahead and call somebody on WhatsApp, you have a few different choices. You can either call them by directly just coming up here and typing in their phone number just like here. So you can go and call them, whatever their number is, you can go and give them a call just like this, whatever their phone number is. And what's really cool is you can even video call them within WhatsApp. So you would basically get their phone number, or if you already have their contact information, you can actually make your way into your phone application here. You should be able to find their number, and there might be a little WhatsApp option that'll allow you to actually you know, call them. So that's another cool thing. If you want, you can video call them, voice call them from here. So that's another thing you have the ability of doing here as well. Now, and that is a quick breakdown of how to use WhatsApp. Again, it's nothing crazy. You probably are already familiar with WhatsApp for the most part. But the main thing I would probably tell you, every week, every day, every month, and probably not every day, but every week or two, what I'd recommend doing is going through into your app store and updating your WhatsApp application. If you have automatic updates automatically installed, you do not have to do this. But if you don't have automatic updates, what I'd recommend doing is updating your device as often as you can or updating your WhatsApp as often as you can because there are new features and things being added all of the time. So I would probably recommend doing that as soon as you can. 